Hi everyone, this is Brett Shermet from IBM, and today I'm going to show you how to access IBM's Engineering Lifecycle Management Quick Starts. And what Quick Starts are is that it is a virtual machine that has some of our offerings in the Engineering Lifecycle Management platform, and we also provide a bunch of one to two hour tutorials along with them. And the typical offerings that we have in there include Doors Next, uh, Doors Classic, we have Rhapsody, Workflow Management, Test Management, and a few other things. First of all, do not use Safari or do not use Edge for this. Google Chrome and Firefox work the best. And for this example, I will be using Google Chrome today. Navigate to this website, that is ibm.com slash training. After navigating there, you'll see these two buttons over here. One says log in and one says new user. If you already have an IBM ID, click on log in, but I'm just gonna create, click on create new user and create a demo account today. I'll put the timestamp right here. We're we'll just skip ahead if you already have an account. So I'm just gonna sign up and fill out this information. And once I fill out the information, I'll click on next and it's gonna send you a code that you need to enter inside this box. Then I'm going to click on create account. If you want to read through all this, feel free to, but I'm just going to click on proceed. Now you need to set up two-factor authentication from your method of choice. After adding two-factor authentication and going on to the next screen, you can say, hey, if you want to know about updates, but I'm just going to click off the checkbox here and click on continue to site. Now we have logged in to the IBM training portal. What we need to now do is search underneath enter keywords for engineering lifecycle management and click on search. Now what we can do is that if you click on any of these courses here, you'll be directly taken to a next page where you can create a reservation. But there may be a slight issue is that sometimes when clicking on a course, you will have this issue pop up here. And what I'll do is I will have a link that will come up on the screen right now that uh, will also be in the description and clicking on that will bring you directly to where you can reserve a reservation. But if you don't have this error, let me show you what page is supposed to pop up next. So this is the page that you're supposed to be directed to and some reasons why that error could be popping up um, is that if you have created too many uh, test accounts or your VPN or proxy is kind of flagging in on our side, this is the error that will be thrown up. And this is my demo recording computer. So I've created quite a few test accounts on this. So now that I'm logged in, we have uh, this kind of window here where it will walk you through some things about kind of what is IBM ELM. But the most important thing is the download the lab exercises tab and clicking on that will download this PDF that will walk you through some of the labs here. But what we want to do is we want to go over to reserve and access our quick start lab environment. We'll then need to go to this link, which this will be the direct link that I'll have down in the description as well. And clicking on this will take us over to the place where we need to reserve the environment. I'll just click X on this pop up right here and then hop over to the environments tab on the left hand side and click on reserve. Click on reserve now and you can change the title of it if you want to. The purpose for this is going to be practice slash self-education. Now the purpose description, I'm just going to put education and then we can select our preferred geography. And since I'm in Atlanta, I'm just going to select US South region. Underneath date and time, clicking on this calendar will allow us to set it out until the 23rd and you are able to extend it for a, a few times and I'll show you how to do that. A VPN access, I'm just gonna leave disabled and I'm gonna come over to this checkbox here and click on submit. Now, this can take anywhere from 30 seconds to several minutes to provision and you will receive an email once it has provision and I'll be back once it is all ready. And now we're back. Our environment has provisioned and showing you a couple of things right here. Now, this is the environment that we just spun up. Uh, this is just another environment that I have inside of this account. It says this is my main account. And a couple of key things is this drop down menu right here and this blue button right here. 
Mousing over this drop down menu up top here in the top right hand corner of the reservation, when you mouse over it, it says more options. Clicking on that will reveal this menu right here. And this is how you can share it to other colleagues pretty easily by just entering the email that they use for IBM uh, ID. And you can also click on extend right here. And clicking this will allow you to extend the reservation for a couple of days. And I believe, yep, you have a total of two extensions because this is an education one. What that means is that after this virtual machine expires, all the data in it will be deleted and will be wiped and you will have to spin up another uh, virtual machine to be able to access the tools again. But going down here to this blue button, I'll just click on that and this will take us into the reservation itself. And all you need to do is you need to scroll down to the bottom here and underneath VM remote console is click on this. And then what I like to do is I like to go over and click on open in a new window. And now we are at the virtual machine. One thing to note is that if you do click full screen, your mouse may disappear, which a way around that to get it full screen is I go up to the top of here and in Google Chrome, you can click on full screen and now I have my mouse available. Now we're going to log into the administrator account and the password is I love demos where both the O's are zeros and we'll just click on enter. Now that we're in the virtual machine, uh, we need to change the screen resolution and this is the default screen resolution. So if I go up top here, say I just open up Chrome, we can see that it's a very skinny window in this in on my monitor right now. So. To change the resolution, we need to go down to settings. I'll just click on the magnifying glass, then I'll click on settings, and I'll just blow this up a little bit. We're gonna go underneath system, then we're gonna go over to display here. And then you'll need to figure out what resolution works best for you. All right, I'm back now. I just figured out what screen resolution works best for me and my monitor. So now we wanna do two other things. You want to come down to the bottom here, click on the magnifying glass again, and search for Jazz, and you want to click on Start the Jazz Team Server. Now, I will minus out of this window, and the other thing that we want to run is Start Jira Server. And to get to that, I just search for Jira. I'll click right on that, and it, this will take just a second as well. Now what I'll do is I'll go down Google Chrome, and I will open up this browser right here. And now this is how you can access all of the demo environment itself. You can also search for specific applications down here like Rhapsody and Doors Classic. Now the one that we are going to want to play around with today is you're going to want to go up to Avery and you want to select the second option from this list that is Program Management Planning. And we will be taken into this Avery project. A window will pop up asking you to log in and the account that we want to log into is Susan with the password being Susan. Click on log in. And just a word of warning is that the virtual machine is just a little bit slow when it first starts up. Then from the dashboard tabs here, hop over to our JIRA tab. And then what we're gonna wanna do is scroll up to the top of the page here. And then now let me just shrink this browser ever so slightly. So that way it fits more into my screen. Now I'm gonna go to a new tab then hop over to this engineering tab on the left hand side and click on JIRA. Now underneath username, put in IBM and password, put in IBM as well. And then click on log in. So now take us into JIRA and hopping back over to Doors Next. What we can do is if we refresh the page here, now we can go directly into JIRA from this Doors Next Generation dashboard and to get to there, we can click on stories over here. So I'll just open these up in a new tab and we can be directly taken to these stories. Uh, if you wanna go back into Doors Next or even Rhapsody, all you need to do is you can mouse over this and you can click and be, be taken directly to this artifact. But if you wanna see Rich Hover, just mouse over it and click on log in. So that way next time you mouse over it, you'll get a Rich Hover that appears here. And this is a uh, diagram here that we can see in Rhapsody. One thing that you can do as well is you can also create bugs and stories and they will pre-populate over here. Uh, just a word of warning is that it is not an instant. It takes, because uh, since it's a virtual machine, it takes probably about 30 seconds for a minute for everything in Jira to appear right over here. 
Thank you all for watching. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can find my contact information in the description below.